What's up guys? Uh, today I am going to get started on putting an electric water pump on the car. So right now I just run a mechanical pump, normal pump that you could find at O'Reilly's. Um, the reason I'm changing is one, I just don't think that this flows enough water into the radiator for it to continue to be cool. I still have overheating issues. So I'm gonna change it for that reason, but also I continue to have issues with the alternator belt being torn and then breaking. So this alternator I believe is no good. Um, so I'm gonna change that, but I'm also going to, since the electric pump, water pump won't need this, I'll be shortening the belts so hopefully that'll, you know, take away from some alignment issues because this seems to be way more aligned with the harmonic pulley than it does this pulley. So I'm going to get started on doing that, getting all that taken care of. This is a pump, CVF. Pretty straightforward process. Uh, I got a relay with it as well. Uh, I'm just going to wire this straight to a toggle to a 12 volt source so that I can, when the car is off, I can continue to leave the fans on and run the water pump to continue to circulate water in the motor to help, you know, cool it off a little bit. Um, it also comes with a bunch of other stuff. Um, I, don't know, I think this one is the alternator bracket and then it comes with like an alternator fan and it's got all this other stuff for it. So I'm gonna get started on doing that. It's like 90 degrees. So, you know, why not work in the sun? But I backed it out so I can just, you know, drain the water out of it. So let's get started on doing this. Flush the Alright, so now that all, that's all cleaned up, I will uh, put this thing back in the garage so I'm not working directly in the sun. All right, so before we stick the water pump on, because this is uh, this has got the bypass, um, we need to plug that because the electric water pump, the electric water pump does not have an outlet for that, like the the o, like an OE um, water pump would have. So, oh, easy. So we're gonna have to plug that, and with this kit. Kit comes with the gaskets and the bolts and everything that you need, but if it also comes with a plug. Now I was seeing guys drill and tap that bypass, but but me personally, I just I don't know if I could drill and tap the engine for that 
So I'm going to try this plug and hope that, you know, it doesn't ever come out. So we're going to try that. It seems like it'll be a tight fit in there, so I'm just hoping for the best on this one, but you never know. So we're going to pop that in, and then uh, once that's done, we'll clean up the surfaces out and all, and all that and stick the water pump on. All right, so that plugs in. Um, pretty flush. Um, I tried testing to see if it leaks, but, you know, kind of hard to tell when all the water comes out of this bolt hole and, you know, the big hole. Uh, but, I mean, it went in there tight. Went in there pretty good. So, I'm just hoping for the best. I hope that it just stays. That's, that's, all, I can, that's all I can do. All right, so water pump stuff is on. Good news, bad news. The water pump neck itself. Yeah, that's pretty damn close to a uh, harmonic balancer. Chances of me getting something on there without it running, probably no shot. Not to mention the little rat hose is too low. So now I gotta sit here and figure out what to do with that. So I'm going to look into some stuff. Great. Okay, so some progress has been made. I need, I had to pull that pulley off the balancer and now I'm gonna pull the balancer off. So this is just too big of a balancer so I had to buy a new balancer. This is an eight inch balancer or a Gen 2 small block because it has the short collar on the balancer. So I bought another balancer that's a six and three quarter size uh, balancer that also fits a Gen 2 small block with this short collar. That was not fun to find, but uh, it's on order. It should be here to tomorrow, so I'm going to pull this thing off and get that ready with my O'Reilly's rental tool that will snap inside the crankshaft, guaranteed. This is a stock Vortec 350 balancer that I bought when I originally built this. I don't know, I just never changed it or thought I needed to, so. Guess it's off now. By the way, uh, if anyone in the Minnesota area is possibly interested in this engine, it will be for sale after, uh, after race week. That is, unless, you know, I destroy it. I do plan on selling this, so if anyone wants to know, this is for, this will be for sale, and for the right price, I'll literally send every single small block Chevy thing I have for this car with it. That includes the MSD, the two-step, uh, all the other bracketry for the V-belts. It'll come with that power steering pump. It'll come with both balancers. You get two now. You get... Uh, you'll get the electric water pump you get the mechanical water you'll literally get all, anything I have small block Chevy for the right price so if you guys are interested be on the lookout I'll be selling it no I will not ship it no so if anyone is possibly interested in that all right I got a new balancer on um, it looks right you know I started the car for a little bit like 10 seconds 15 seconds make sure there's no wobbles in it rubbed it up just a little bit just to see make sure it's still straight everything's straight so now we can retest fit the water pump see if that if we gained a ton more room to put the uh the lower hose on the collar of the uh, water pump so i'll do that if that looks good then we can start reassembling this 
All right. That is much more clearance. Ton more. So, now I just need to make up this little gap here. So I'm gonna try and see if I have something laying around or I can cut that. Just use that as a, as a connection from here to here. And then I can uh, finish putting everything together. Okay, so I have done some work. I did not film it because it's a repetitive process and I didn't you know, want to bore you guys. So we got the water pump on, the brackets, the alternator. I did all, got this stuff came with the, uh, all this, you know. And of course, uh, this doesn't really line up with that. So I'm just going to send it and hope for the best. Right now I'm working on wiring up the relay. So I got the power ran to the distribution block here. And then I got the switch going into the car. And then I just need to take this wire, feed that to the pump, and then ground the pump, and then ground the relay. And then that's pretty much it. And then I can go get belts, put the belts on, see if you know the alternator belt stays on or if it screams or whatever, and then check to see if the water pump works. Get water. Oh, I also put new tires on the car. So, fancy boy now. I've been meaning to get these for a while. One, to match these because of my OCD. Two, they're way better than the other ones I had, which were these Mickey Thompson Sportsman's, I hated these. Number one, I ordered it uh, when I first got this, all of this stuff made and was building the car, way too small. These are 26s, those are 27s. Um, but also, I'm hoping and I believe that this is going to have way more traction for one, for doing holding the car for burnouts than what those were. So we'll see. If not, well, at least it looks fast. You know, you gotta fake it till you make it, right? Okay, so some time has passed and I have finished. I didn't film the end of it because it, it was just putting water in it, putting belts on. But I'll show you anyway. Got a little short belt, short belt to the power steering pump. Uh, we're still getting a belt squeal and a little bit of side wear on the alternator belt. It squeaks just a tiny bit. Um, so I guess I'll just carry some extras, I guess. I think the reason is, is because the alternator is you know, too far this way and I can't space it out any further because I, uh, I run out of threads, so. But otherwise, the water pump is doing great. Uh, I got the radiator filled. Uh, it, it flows a ton of water, and I have it wired up to the relay. And I have it wired up also to the toggle switch right here. So I can run the water pump and the fans when I'm not running so that it kind of cools all the water in the car. I took it on a little drive. Uh, not far. It's not hot out at all. I think it's like, I want to say it's like probably 75 degrees. Hottest it got was 175. That was when I shut it off. So, uh, maybe I'll probably go back to a thermostat. I haven't had good luck with the thermostats. Or I'll just put that half inch reduce uh, restriction in. Because right now I got a 5 eighths restriction. Um... But yeah, otherwise, runs good. Seems like it's doing the cooling stuff. I got it all the way full. The new Hoosiers look cool on the car. I'm gonna nerd out about that for a little bit. It was a film driving it home because I didn't film while I drove it, which would have made more sense. I did it then, but I didn't. Sorry. See, it was like 189 when I Turn the key because the water sat in the block. 
and I just turn the water pump on and the water keeps dropping so it's kind of nice. It got up to 178 uh, and then uh, went literally almost immediately started dropping and then obviously it's going to continue dropping because I got it running but trans got a little warm but that's not too terrible so pretty straightforward process other than I can't measure for belts worth a dam I think I guessed on I don't know eight different size belts all of them wrong finally found the right one for the alternator if anyone's curious if they were to run this exact same setup with the electric water pump the power steering pump and then the uh alternator the alternator belt that i got was 33 and an eighth and i can go bigger if i want to the power steering pump belt was 36 inches and i can go smaller for sure with that one so if anyone wanted ideas if they had a similar setup here's your idea for belts so otherwise i think that's I think that's it got a some new painted parts sprucing her up a bit new electric water pump seems to be doing good i think uh, i think we're ready for rock falls so hopefully i don't break anything else and um we can go race, maybe see what these new coilovers will do in the front. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, peace.